Hey there. <clears throat> Let's see if this works. Facebook seem to have changed their ways. I'm just trying to see if this is working or not. Let's have a look if anybody pops up. I'm trying to be really techy and film this for YouTube at the same time. So let's see if anything comes up and let's see if I get it right for YouTube as well. Although the angle on YouTube isn't really very flattering, I have to say, but hey, hey, it is what it is. Just checking in to see how everybody's getting on in lockdown land. Let's see. comment there, see if anybody can pop up. Someone give us a reply. Tell me you're out there. Facebook Live producer. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you can screen share as well. That's pretty cool. I need someone to put a hand up and show me that they are seeing this and that you're out there. Usually I can see by now. There's people checking in and waving at me, but I'm not seeing anything, so give us a thumbs up. Aha, uh -huh, Colette, you're okay. Just drained, yeah, I feel like, hi Alice. There we go, people coming through now. Yeah, drained, I get that, totally. And it's weird, isn't it, how even though we're technically not a lot of us who are in lockdown or self-isolating aren't doing anything and technically should be resting and not feeling drained. It's the mental, psychological and emotional draining. Uh, and for those of you that are out on the front line, still trying to work as well. And the pressure and the strain of potentially bringing back um, problems to home. It's, it's a lot for us to psychologically deal with. Yes, Claire, thank you. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm good. We've started uh, our homeschooling schedule today so kids are doing really well they're so resilient so we've been uh, just working on putting that into place for today um they're off doing various bits and bobs we had pe this morning hi vicky we pe and um, we've been doing some life skills so tommy today has fixed a door put it, hung a door back on and, and lin seeded um one of the cabinets because uh, craig's still off until wednesday now so we're trying to trying to fit in as many things as we can that we think would be good education not just of the online learning um, he's going to do a bit of English and math later on. Gracie's cracking on with the A-levels, Ruby with the GCSEs. But I'm quite mindful that I, I want to be able to, to make it quite well-rounded for them, keep them in a structure, but keep them learning how they learn best and how they enjoy it. So we've done a, what I do with my Mindset Mojo, actually. I've had them doing the learning styles quiz this morning and personality types so that I can see and they can see from each other their learning styles and what they need to do to sort of get through it. Uh, and we know that now Tommy's really practical. So I don't think I can sit down for the next however many weeks and be... Um, really academic with him and get him to do maths and English and languages because we already know from school that he doesn't operate like that and he gets really bored really easily. So Craig and I and Cal as well are trying to put together some ideas of practical stuff that we can do to keep him busy and also wear him out because he's got so much energy like me. Send him for a run first so he's, he's going for a run before we do anything else. And cooking, he's doing loads as well. Ah, St John's Ambulance, Kids Challenges, brilliant. Okay, so we'll get onto that. I'm going to write that down. I can put that on the crew website as well. Brilliant. Anything like that, fling it over. I'm going to put it on the crew website. So that is what I wanted to update you on. So the crew website, 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 community resilience, empowerment and well-being uh, is the name of the game. The website is now live, so you just need to look um, crewforyou.co.uk. And we've got on there now lots of content coming through. So the most important things are if you are really struggling with anything and you really, really need some help, get on there and you can find out all the updates from FLVC coming straight to us from the council so services things like bin collections and um, all of the, the things that you might be worried about uh, we're looking at prescriptions as a priority how people get the medication because that seems to be a big big problem um, food delivery services all the local people delivering and now getting on there and we're sending links uh, lots of videos mental health resilience well-being content we'll link in St John's Ambulance there's a few kids uh, PE type things and educational resources going up there uh what else our oh, dr mark who's a member of crew he started to do some videos for us so i'm going to start to share them once we get them processed and online um some really quick and easy ways to calm your sympathetic nervous system down a bit like i was trying to tell everybody the other day so they'll be really useful if you're feeling like you're in that panic mode 
so we're going to have Dr. Mark feeding things through for us. Um, another crew member, James, obviously you will all know James, Nanny Biscuit at the moment is just absolutely superb. I, I can't praise them highly enough. The whole team are just, just amazing the way they've put this infrastructure together and they're really right on the ground floor helping people. Um, I'm trying to support that, so via crew, we're all trying to support each other's um, projects. And what we found so far is the helpline, because the flyers went out, it's just inundated the phone um, d day in and day out. So if people are out there that are panicking and worrying and struggling, the first thing I would say was if you can access either myself or Mark's content on how to calm your nervous system, so the breathing techniques, a couple of other things we're going to show you, just to calm and switch that back into just a calmer state so that you can access logic and reasoning. And then we can, from there, work out, is it an, a real emergency? Is it something that you need absolute emergency support right this second? Or can you get onto the website and find what you need from there? Okay, if you can't find it on the website, can you find a link on there for the right people to be able to support you in what you need? And then if you can't, then that would be the point that you would need to use one of these services that, that, that you need when you're in desperate measures. Uh, and I'm hoping that will help keep the phone line cleared a little bit. Uh, we're doing a specific page for Nanny Biscuit on the on the crew website, so you can have a little look at that, and that will send you through the phone numbers, the Facebook page, the website, uh, sorry, the email address if you need things. And they're working flat out, absolutely flat out, to put resource packs together to be able to deliver to the people that need it the most, uh, and and who really can't access things like food. Uh, prescriptions, as I say, has come up, which wasn't supposed to be something they were dealing with. Um, but I don't think there's anything else in place at the moment. So we're working with local authority to try and find out what systems are in place so that we can feed back to you. But at the moment, we're looking at, I think, Jones Coaches, and there's a few taxi companies that are offering to, to pick up and drop off. It's just everything's everywhere, so everyone's also confused and so reactive. We need to kind of keep it calm and try and find the best system to be able to get to as many people as possible in a simple way uh, and get those services out there. And my thought was Facebook uh, and social media is just flooded now with all kinds of things and that in itself becomes confusing. So I wanted to pull, pull the content off and put it somewhere central so you can just find things a little bit easier. So that's what the crew website's for. Um, with regard to the breathing technique, I went through it last week when I did my post and Mark's done a specific uh, video on it just explaining the science a little bit further but just to remind you again you need to look at making your out breath or your exhale longer than your inhale and preferably twice as long which is great because it just changes the chemistry in your body so that you come out of fight or flight mode and that panic anxiety response and you access a little bit of a, of, of a calmer um sort of sensations for you to be able to calm things down and, and access logic and reasoning and that's what you need and that's what you need to be teaching the kids as well uh, so yeah however you find to do it just you can count it you can do the 7-eleven which marks talks about where you would count in a certain amount of breaths hold it for a couple of seconds and then breathe out longer or you can do my balloon breathing exercise where i breathe in really quite quickly like i'm about to hold my breath hold my breath for a few seconds and then blow out incredibly slowly like i'm blowing a balloon up really slowly and that works for me, so so try uh, a couple of different ways, but as long as you can make that out breath longer, that's what you need to do. Uh, a few more tricks that we're going to show you as well. Um, a little bit of Mark's done some really good EMDR, so eye movement techniques. Um, both sides of your body connecting at once, so both sides of your brain connect at once. And it's a little bit of reprogramming and that's what Mark specialises in, so that will be coming very soon, as soon as the videos are uploaded. Um, has anybody got anything that they want to, that they would like to suggest, stick it in the comments, anything that you think Nanny Biscuit could do or shouldn't be doing, um, somebody else is already doing it, so you can help us by saying, oh, they're already doing that, so let's signpost, that would be great information for us. Anything that you'd like on the website that you think would be helpful, ping that over in a comment, it would be really, really useful to us. Um, one of the things that we are doing, so I'm trying to wear several hats at once, which is, you know, I like that, I do that anyway, so it's, you know, it's okay, I can do that. Um, we obviously have Art and Soul Tribe as my organisation and we're trying in the background to build things and take things uh, digitally at the same time as we're doing all the frontline reaction stuff. Uh, so what we have done is all of the, the courses and the projects and the things that we've been doing lo uh, locally to help with resilience, well-being, emotional intelligence, life skills, that kind of stuff. We've been going out practically into schools, into workplaces, into community groups and working with people to build these skills. And we've now started to film 
uh, and, and, and do a proper school. So we've called it Soul School. So we'll be sharing that very, very, very soon. And that's going to be online as a proper school platform that you'll be able to access with lots of different courses on there. So um, we're working on that as quickly as we can. And the priority at the moment is for the resilient stuff resilience and well-being and we're doing a version for young people so that you know different version for kids different version for adults so you can all access that and that's going to be really helpful because there's some good downloadable resources as well um, and we've got some of our other other um, amazing artists who are working flat out to, to get some content on there really 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 useful really helpful stuff that will help to keep your days a little bit more structured and a little more positive and you'll be able to work through things through workbooks through activities through challenges in a very um, structured but really sort of easy to engage with way and um, we're going to link that also in with social groups so whatever course you do we'll be able to get you um, connected to the social group to share things and we'll have some online zoom lessons and conferences and webinars and hangouts and you know it's all going to come together really nicely now at the moment my biggest priority is to try and access some grants and funding because I want to be able to roll that out free at point of delivery right now we can't do that because every single one of us is self-employed so we've lost everything ourselves so we're all trying to do the same thing you know, at the same time, trying to support the public, but trying to keep our heads above water as well. So just so that you know, the plan is in place for us to be able to press free on this so that everyone can just access it. Until that happens, we're going to chop the, co the usual course content price down as much as we can so that you'll be able to just do it as if it was a normal, normal course. Um, but we'll keep you posted on that as well. The other thing that we're going to do, the tribe are really, really passionate about positivity inspiration community cohesion resilience well-being as you all know we can't do our events and shows while we're on lockdown but we can be quite creative and we can find a way to do something digitally so team meetings we're on zoom all the time we are going to start pub quiz i think it'll be a wednesday uh, but i'll keep you posted on that i'm going to do a big massive huge zoom pub quiz and if too many people decide to get on there we'll try and use something like google hangouts that you can fit hundreds of people on uh, so we're going to have a bit of a laugh with that pub quiz. You can all have a beer or a glass of wine at home and pretend you're in the pub. So we can do that. We're also looking at doing something that um, James actually wants to do with Nanny Biscuit in the longer term, uh, and that's birthday parties. So the plan is to do some physical birthday parties um, for families who, who can't afford to throw a party for their kids, and, and we'll find a way to do that practically was one of our plans. But we, what we want to do now is while we're on lockdown, we realise that people aren't going to be able to throw parties for their kids, and there's lots of kids that are going to be missing out on their birthdays. So we're just trying to work out a way to do that digitally now, maybe via Zoom, and we'll do some birthday parties for anyone who's had a birthday recently, or in April, and maybe we'll do it monthly. Big birthday hangout, so all of you guys will be challenged at home to make a little cake and have it with you, and we will get our Disney princesses and anybody else that we can and our party dance specialists to get online, and we'll do some party dances, a bit of a home disco. Um, we'll try and get the, the princesses around and some or some power rangers or whoever else we've got character wise and then we can all have our individual cakes we'll sing happy birthday and we'll do it all um we'll do it all online which is going to be interesting but i think we can do it so that's uh, yeah that's another thing that we're planning anything else you can think of somebody had the idea of doing a, a big giant online cards against humanity and while i love that game I'm slightly concerned at the fact that that might be a disaster in a public domain when everybody will be incredibly offended as the game is meant to but i just don't quite know how that would work uh, just yet if it's something that you want to do perhaps we can put a group together of them um, of horrible mean people that love cards against humanity and we'll do an online version uh, but there's loads of other things that we can do we just need some ideas and then we'll get it happening any concerns you've got any worries you've got i'm going to do a live probably twice a week and I'd like to try and grow it so that we've all got a bit of a sort of support thing. Vicky shared a, a schedule, online classes, brilliant, yeah, PE to dance. Um, I might get you to do inbox me if you've got any links, Vicky, and I'll stick because I'm just literally popping things on the website all day long. Um, uh, hi, Michael, I haven't seen you for a long time. Wow. Uh, yeah, I hope you're okay. I haven't seen you for such a long time. Let me know how you're doing. Um, you're going to do some classes online because that might be a good thing for you to, to get to get your education side going online as well. Uh, any other ideas that anybody has or things that might support and help, please, please, please let me know. The very first course that's going to be going live for us is my Mindset Mojo one, which I know I've been, I've been banging on a little bit about that for a while. And, and uh, many of you who've been able to attend a workshop and have 
um, been part of the process over the last couple of years while I've been refining it. Well, I'm uh, happy to say that now, and I've, luckily I've had the time to be able to do it now, it's um, really, really refined and there's now a really, really cool digital workbook. So some people haven't been able to get to the, the big classes and the group workshops for whatever reason. Some people haven't wanted to because they, you know, they're really self-conscious and really anxious socially and didn't want to be in a, in a class environment. Um, and for me, being, a, having to, being able to come out and do one-to-ones, I couldn't manage to fit that into my day. And, and it would have to have been too much of a cost for me to be able to do that, to, to, to do one-to-ones. But now we've got, you know, we're, we're on Zoom and we've got that potential. I think it's quite an exciting time that I can really help as many people as I can with your mental health at a time that it's massively needed. And, you know, I will be able to find a way to keep my head above water a little bit and use my skills wisely and really, really be able to help and we can do it uh, online. So I'm hoping that's going to be a good way forward. That's what I'm going to work on anyway. We've got all kinds of, you know, goal setting, life planning. We do life laundry and a life audit and just getting things straight in your head. Lots of exercises to to work on your, your sympathetic nervous system and your responses to stress, which is really useful right now learn about how your brain works and in a bit more depth and how things you know how things can progress and how stress can turn to distress and then distress turns to overwhelm and just strategies to stop it from getting to that point i think it's crucial right now so i'm, I'm really making that a huge priority uh, and dr mark as well doc as we affectionately call him these you know, lots of the videos and the information that we're getting from mark is really crucial dr mark johnson of clinical wellness it's one of the original crew members um, so I'm going to be able to share that and I'll be putting that publicly and, and hopefully between us we can all support each other and we can we can make good things happen so that when uh, you know we get through this other end everybody's mental health is intact and everybody's been supported and we have managed to keep communities going digitally and then you know we can all come together when this is you know when we've got past this really really tricky tough horrible stage um, you know in, in, in our lives and change our ways a little bit i think i think the only good that can come out of this is that we all realize the um the importance of family and community and how sometimes it's you have to fix things amongst yourselves and and for each other rather than relying on external forces to do that and then in a very frightening time where we don't know we haven't got control we don't know what's going to happen that's the only thing we can do and i think we're all learning that very sharply and and in a very reactive way that the only people we have to rely on are ourselves and our families and our communities that's how it feels sometimes so that's not necessarily a bad thing moving forward because i think we'll be a lot stronger for this we just have to get through this part and help the most vulnerable as much as we possibly can um, and save lives and that's that's as simple as that we have to save lives and the only way we can do that is by staying put staying out of each other's way but that doesn't mean we have to let our own mental health suffer and we don't have to um, come out of this with an even worse mental health crisis. We can come out of it the other way around. We can be stronger, we can be more positive, we can be more resilient and we can be closer within our families and our communities. And that hopefully is what I can bring to the table. That's my aim. And I'm going to do my very best for you all and, and keep checking in and setting up this pub quiz, I think, will be the first step forward. So keep an eye out on that and we'll send a link. We'll just put a Zoom link publicly when we can. I think the plan will have to be to everybody to jump on and mute your mics <laughs> and, to, and then we'll work out a strategy so we're not just all shouting and uh, getting awkward but it's going to be good and the birthday parties are going to be great uh, in the meantime I'm going to go now and I'm going to get back to making sure the kids are doing their I'm going to be like the headmistress Miss Chief I think my nickname's going to be that's uh, my soul school name uh, Miss Chief yeah. if the shoe fits uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and get stuff sorted around here, um, but I just wanted to remind you all that Nanny Biscuit is out there if you need them, but please use that service wisely, uh, I'm trying to help keep things as calm there and, and, and the team are really working on their strategy, it's just amazing to see, however it is still a group of volunteers, so if you ring and you, you know, you're panicking and you need help and it might take them a while to be able to access what they need, but they are working flat out and they're doing an amazing job. Uh, so please use that service wisely. It's on the crew website. You can have a little look. You can link in. Try not to use the phone number unless you absolutely have to because the Facebook page and the emails will be easier for them to manage. Uh, and yeah, and I think we're all overdue a massive, massive, huge, big celebration party when this is all over. So big love to you all. Look after each other. Stay in. Do as you're told. Get a bit of exercise. Exercise your brain. Check in with each other. And I'll be back with another live as soon as I possibly can and some more updates. But in the meantime, get on the crew website, www.crew4u.co.uk. See you all soon.